we're going to start by creating a new page from the one that we had before. As we have done with every new page, just click on Pages, Add New, and type in the name of your page. This is the last one. This is the one that says Work. We're going to clone and copy all the apps that we have on the Sketches pages over here, since we're going to use many of them. Remember to duplicate the ones that you don't want to change on the other pages. Okay, so we have our work page over here. It looks exactly as the sketches page. As we have done before with previous pages, um, just remember duplicate the apps and change them. I'm going to copy and paste this. So I'm going to change the font and I also have to change the background. On the left side of your blog, at the top, you will find the background dot. You click on it, click edit, then custom image, and upload your own background. Remember all the files that we're using here, you can find them on our blog post. What I'm doing right now, I'm duplicating the apps that I'm going to need, but I don't want to be modified on other pages. So I'm still going to need a header, so I'm going to remove the original one, and I'm going to use the one that was duplicated. Now on our work page, right now we're going to place the brands on store. Okay, we're using Avril Fat Face for this, and as we have done before, we're going to use a mix of fonts. So we're using Avril Fat Face for the first line, and Joseph Instance for the second. Now, since for this I only need a text tab, and I only need a column, I'm going to remove the slideshow app that we have from the previous page and I'm going to merge the column. This is the opposite of splitting the columns. So just hover over the resizer line and wait for the controls to show. Click on the X and automatically two columns will become one. You will see a green overlay that will tell you which columns are the ones that are going to get affected. Now I don't want this um, app to change on the other one so I'm duplicating it. I'm centering it and I'm also changing the kind of or the size of the font that we have right now. Since we're duplicating the app from the other one, most of the uh, styling that was done already is already there. I need a I need actually bigger line height for this. I'm also going to need another header, so I'm going to duplicate the, the one that I had before, and I'm going to use a new one. Okay, I have placed the header that says store accessories. Uh, for this, I'm not going to need a description. So I'm going to remove the text tab and I'm also going to merge the column because I only need one in this section. I'm going to remove the slideshow app and I'm going to install an image gallery. This allows you to set small galleries or, or actually thumbnail images that you can later click on and display on a bigger size. I'm going to remove the title since I already have one. And I'm going to um, remove styling from this. I'm going to remove the dots. So just hover over the first entry and click on its dot. And you will see how you can 
remove styles from all the entries at the same time. Click on one of the entries to replace the image. Automatically, once the image gets replaced, all the other ones change its size also. We're going to be replacing one by one. Remember, just hover over the image and replace it. Okay, this is, uh, we're just gonna add a few entries. Remember, you can still add more. Um, this is just a demo video, so we're gonna do this pretty fast. Remember, changing the, um, the way that the image looks will also change the other ones. Now, I want to make this as big as possible. So what I do, I hover over the image or the entry itself, and on the bottom, on the right side corner, a uh, little triangle will show. This is the resizer corner. You can grab it and it will display a green overlay that will show you how the image is going to be after you drop the click. And also it's going to show you a percentage of the image, the original image that you're using. Now if the, all the entries don't fit on the column, uh, an arrow will show at the right and the left side of the image itself. This is pagination arrows that will allow you to navigate through the entries of the app. Now we're going to need two different galleries, one for the accessories and store, and another one for the clothing itself. So we may need to add more sections. Now I want this to be the same as uh, this gallery that I have. I want the other gallery to be exactly the same kind of way and same style. So I'm going to duplicate the ones that I already have and I'm just going to go I'm going to go and relocate them. First I need to add a section because I want them to be in a different section. So I hover over the app, wait for the app toolbar to show and if you see a cross that has arrows on it, just click and hold it and then drag and drop the app. I'm going to write it myself instead of copy and paste it, floating. As you see, it has the same style as the other. I'm going to add a section under this one. This is where I'm going to place the other gallery. So I hit on apps and go to image gallery and install it. Now a gray overlay will show me how the app will look once I drop it or the area that the app will be installed on. As I have done before, I'm going to hover over the main app, I'm sorry, the, main, the first entry, and you will see a dot on top of this one. Just click on it and remove whatever style you want to remove or add whatever style you want to add. And as we have done before, just click on each one of the entries and replace it. If you want the full image to show, make sure that you click on the button that says use full. If all the images have the same size or the same kind of proportions, you won't need to use the was useful button again. Now over here, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna add a few entries as I have told you. Um, I'm not gonna add all of them.
Okay, I'm replacing the images again. If you want to add more entries, the only thing that you gotta do is hover over the app itself. And on the left side of the app toolbar, you will see a button that says add entries. New entry, just click on it. A default image will show up, it's a placeholder. Then click on the image itself, go to replace. Choose your source, we're using the files that we have stored. So we're gonna click on my computer, select the image that you want. Now it doesn't matter if you're placing them in an order that you don't want it. Um, everything is modifiable. So after you have placed all the entries, um, I'm gonna show you how to uh, reorder them properly. You can still hover over the app and in any of the entries under them, you will see an X that's to remove the entry itself. And you will see also an arrow going up and down. If you click on that, you will be able to reorder them. As you see, we have three already, so I'm gonna go ahead and resize them. Um, as I did before, I only want them, I only want a few of them to show. The other ones will be hidden, but you can still access them through the navigation page. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna resize them uh, to about 50 or something percent. And now the images don't look the way that I want to regarding uh, order. So I'm gonna uh, hover over the app and click on the reorder button that, that I told you before. It's an, an arrow going up and an arrow going down. So I just, as you see, a, a cross with arrows is gonna show. Okay, that's it, that's the way that it happened. I just hit close and the app will reload. And it will show the way that you want. If you don't feel satisfied uh, the way that they look, just uh, resize them. And you will see how automatically, if they fit, they will show on that column. On the right side of the app, you can notice a, um, a navigation arrow. Now I'm gonna remove this. And I'm gonna add the final section of our web page. I'm gonna add uh, the credits. Over here, you can place links or whatever information you need regarding who helped you with the page or links to other pages. Now, I'm gonna place everything in one section. I'm going to need three different sections for this. I'm using Josephine Sense for this. Now, right now it is still one column only, so I'm going to split it. I hover over the resizer line and hit what is a split column. A green overlay will show me how the columns are going to be split. Now I'm going to resize this. Okay, um, I need two more text steps, and I'm still going to need to make that big right column on this section that we just worked on to be two, so I'm still going to split it. I drag and drop a text step and dropped it on the empty column. I'm doing everything on in, in equal width, so uh, it's going to be three different columns, each one, as I've told you before, 320 pixels of width. I'm placing just the text. I'm going to link it later. I'm adding spacing and, and styling it properly. If it doesn't fit properly, you can still resize the entries or the columns. So I'm choosing the part that I'm going to link. In order for you to link this, you just have to select the proper link for the proper text that you're going to link. Once you do this, a, a toolbar will show on the top. Now you can see an icon that has links on it. You click on it, automatically your turn will, do, will turn red. This is for us to show you that it's a link. You can always change this now. Uh, there's a difference uh, on how links behave regarding color. Um, 
proper usual text or, or, or default or text does not have two colors. It, it only has one. Now, but if you see over here, we have default color and roller color. Default color will show uh, whenever you're not hovering over that text. And rollover color will show, as the name says, when you're rolling over your mouse over the link itself. Um, you can change this, but I will suggest you to use the same rollover color for all links on your website. Uh, this is for the users to know that, well, those are links. So. I'm duplicating this app and I'm gonna uh, install it and drag and drop it on the last empty column that I have. Since I'm gonna use the same kind of text and the same kind of style, I just need to duplicate it and I'm gonna change the text. As you see, when I roll over the text, it turns red because that's the rollover color that I've chosen. I'm rewriting the content. Okay, I'm making sure that it looks the same way as the other entries and, and the other app. Same color and same description. The hierarchy has to be the same. I'm gonna just hit publish uh, so I can see how the site looks like. Now in the next video, which is the last one, it's just a, a really short one, I'm gonna show you how to link the pages that we already have built to the menu that we have on top. Remember that the menu that we have on top, it is the same app version that we have on all pages. So any modification that you see on this one is going to be the same as the other ones.